1999, Dino Crisis was released as a landmark survival horror game made by Shinji Mikami, fresh off of a success with the original Resident Evil. After being influenced by other media such as James Cameron's Aliens and Steven Spielberg's own sequel, The Lost World Jurassic Park, the veteran game director created one of the earliest examples of a fully 3D landscape wherein enemies would attack the player as opposed to the more traditional survival horror use of pre-rendered background textures which was more or less the norm. Even Resident Evil itself wouldn't adopt the Dino Crisis model until the following year with Code Veronica. Now, the heavily Jurassic Park-inspired Dino Crisis hasn't seen a new entry in nearly 20 years, but with all of that being said, we may not have to wait too much longer for a true successor to show up in its absence. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So if any of you were unaware, I am a pretty big fan of Dino Crisis, which shouldn't come as much of a shock seeing as I'm so into Jurassic Park. I think the fact that Jurassic was never able to release something like Dino Crisis back in the day is one of the biggest reasons that these two franchises have so much of a crossover and admiration, but still, with the Jurassic World series doing extremely well, you'd think that we'd get a new take at DC sooner or later, right? Well, unfortunately, an official release from Capcom or even a Universal-inspired Jurassic World game doesn't look like it's likely at the moment. However, a new game that is fully taking inspiration from the 1990s PlayStation 1 visual aesthetic and being made to center its gameplay around the hardware of Dino Crisis 1 is in fact not only getting made, but you can actually see footage of it like right now. So while doing some research on another dinosaur-focused game that I'd heard things about titled Instinction, I came across this article on Bloody Disgusting that also talked about a new survival horror game, only this one looked way more influenced by the 1999 classic than literally anything I've ever seen shown off before. The game in question is called Compound Fracture, and while no release date has currently been given, we do have this pretty slick gameplay to look at while we wait for more information. So as you can see right off the bat, Compound Fracture has its protagonist wielding a shotgun that looks to be modeled off of the Spaz-12. And while this may not be the identical make of the weapon, you can already tell that the general shape and design has obviously been tooled to harken back to the iconography of equipment used by Jurassic Park legends like Robert Muldoon. Speaking of which, that isn't the only blatantly JP styled item that can be used in this game. With the introduction of throwing lit flares like your Claire Deering or Alan Grant being shown off in this footage as well that you're seeing right now. Towards the end of the clip, we get our first interaction with those dangerous dinosaurs and they happen to be glorious 1990s era reconstructions of raptors that look similar to what we all saw in children's books and dino media at the time. I have to say, even though this is a game that is incredibly new and hasn't really been teased much at all, I really really am looking forward to what they do with this. And out of every new dinosaur title that I've seen use the influenced by Dino Crisis moniker, this is so far the absolute closest that I've personally ever seen any developers get to. You see, when it comes to emulating such a venerable name as Dino Crisis, if you bring that name up to people like me, I automatically think back to fixed camera angles, close quarters combat, item management, scary out of nowhere encounters with raptors, and hot redheaded women. And while some of those ingredients are obviously missing from here, I will say that they really do nail the aesthetic for the most part quite well. Now, the first person point of view does remind me of something akin to Resident Evil Survivor or RE7 more accurately, which could be where the inspiration for such an idea came from, but I don't want to let any of you forget the point of view of Anne in Jurassic Park Trespasser either. So all in all, what I'm seeing here is something of a must have for a classic Jurassic or Dino game fan such as myself. The story of Compound Fracture is described as, quote, an action survival horror game where fast reflexes are required to neutralize prehistoric threats waiting around every corner. Chronogas is a global supplier of oil and petroleum products to hundreds of enterprise customers all around the world. Purent to federal law, they have been scheduled for an unannounced safety inspection. 
set aside your fear, gather your supplies, and get to work. Now obviously a lot of that safety inspection and abandoned facility sort of stuff harkens back to the plot lines of things like Jurassic Park and The Lost World, while also bringing back memories of our mission to Ebus Island in Dino Crisis. So from the looks of things, at this current stage of the game, consider me very, very excited to learn more. I know a lot of you have been patiently waiting for me to get around to posting the second part of my playthrough of Dino Crisis as soon as possible. And I'm trying to work on doing that ASAP to believe it or not. A couple of months ago, I built a new PC. It was the first time I've ever built a computer by myself and it's not exactly been easy getting stuff like DC Rebirth to run on it at the moment. It's just a file management thing for me to learn. I'm not a tech guy. I'm, I'm no Dennis Nedry or Ray Arnold. <laughs> But I do want to show you guys that there are Xenosaurs, the Blue Raptors, and story elements of the second half of the game as soon as I can. But for now, Compound Fracture, this little teaser, should at the very least help scratch that Jurassic Parkian itch for survival horror gameplay that I know so many of us are desperate to get someday. Whether or not Universal decides to go in that direction for a Jurassic World title, I would love if they looked at the RE2 remake or even RE7 and just went from there, tranquilize dinosaurs, do whatever you gotta do, make it cool, make it slick, make it scary. Aftermath was cool, but I'd really love a AAA title. I don't think that's coming anytime soon, but hey man, Compound Fracture could be right around the corner. Now before I go, I want to thank all of my game wardens, like Stan Marsh, as well as all of my engine executives, like Devin L. Dussault, Mustard Bus, and Omar Miguel Sane. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well, like Robert Feltham, Chris Shamblin, Andy DS, and Mikel Cardoso Teixeira. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that all of you continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.